Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner is the final of the Miami Open for the men for 2023. And both players have had to fight to get to the final. Yannick Sinner started the tournament off as the number 10 seed. And we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Jera. This was no problem for Sinner. Getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he take on the 21 seed, Dimitrov. But again, this was no problem for Sinner. Getting through easily in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on the number 6 seed, Rublev. We had had interesting matches against in the past, but Sinner was on fire and destroyed Rublev 6-2, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinal stage. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on the unseeded Rusevori, who had a very good tournament to get to this stage. But this was no problem for Sinner. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sinner would have to take on the number one, Alcaraz, who's also the defending champion and going for the Sunshine Double. And after a very close first set, Sinner would rally back to win 6-7, 6-4, 6-2 to advance to another Miami final. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number four seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Bayana. This was no problem for Medvedev. Winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, he was supposed to play Molchan. Unfortunately, Molchan pulled out with injury, allowing Medvedev to get the easy win with a walkover. In the fourth round, Medvedev would take on Hallis, who had saved match points against Dimonor a couple of rounds ago. But this was no problem for Medvedev. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the qualifier Eubanks. Medvedev would eventually get through in straights, 6-3, 7-5, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Medvedev would take on the number 14 seed Hashinov, a close friend and a man that he'd beaten earlier in the year. But after a close first set and losing the second, Medvedev would have to fight in three, seven, six, three, six, six, three to advance to the final. These guys have played five times before with Medvedev leading the head dead 5-0, including a meeting a couple of months ago in Rotterdam that went three sets. But this will be the first time they actually play on an outdoor hard court in their careers. The steal percentage goes to Medvedev. However, it's Sinner who has the baseline battle percentage in his favor, where Medvedev has the conversion in, in attack in his favor. So it's very, very close all around. And of course, no surprise that both these guys are well and truly above the tour averages for each respective category. So it's probably going to come down to how good Medvedev serves and how good can Sinner return and what are the baseline battles going to look like between these guys because throughout the whole week, Medvedev has struggled at times on the baseline with consistency. And of course, we just saw Sinner play an epic match against Alcaraz where he was hitting winners from all over the place. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by tennis insights if you want to check out more you can go check them out on twitter link down in the description this is going to be an awesome matchup and i feel like sinner getting a lot of confidence from that win against alcaraz and medvedev didn't play that great in his semi-final against hashinov but i can't go past that head-to-head 5-0 -head i have to pick medvedev in this one he's been so good for the last couple of months this is his fifth final in a row so i'm gonna go with medvedev in a three setter hopefully a tiebreaker in the third that would be epic to finish the week but let me know down in the comments below who do you think's gonna win miami